The next thing that we're going to do is to change out the fuel filter for our 98 Integra GSR. All right, so you don't need too many tools to do this. Um, it's not too difficult to get done, but you wanna make sure and use the right tools. Um, this fuel line coming into the filter is um, it's a hollow nut here so you want to be careful not to damage that we're going to use a flare nut wrench which will wraps around the nut and grips it better and without uh, damaging it and then so that's a 14 millimeter on the line coming in and then this particular filter has 19 millimeter nuts at the top and bottom which is just a hex shape that's built into the filter that's the inlet here the outlet here those are both 19 millimeters i uh, there is a chance that with an aftermarket filter that might be a different size so just double check your uh your wrench here make sure it fits well and then on top this is a banjo bolt right here it's a hollow bolt that uh, is 17 millimeters so we're gonna use a 17 millimeter wrench on that one and then in the back this is actually this filter is held to this bracket here with another bracket it's a two-piece and it's secured by a 10 millimeter bolt in the back so you're also going to need a 10 millimeter socket to get that out uh, let's see so first let's see we'll loosen the lines you do want to be careful um, follow your repair manual to release the fuel pressure if needed if the car's been sitting a long time like this one pressure has been lost so we're not too worried about that um, but yeah, definitely be careful when you're working with fuel. All right, so I'll do the bottom one. Let's see here, get that 14 millimeter wrench on there. Oh, that's the wrong side. Need 19. All right. Okay, so just. There we go. Then the bottom one loose. And be careful because fuel is probably going to leak out at this point. Although this one's been sitting for a very long time, so it's not. And then I'm going to loosen the top one. 19 here. And 17 here. There we go. Oh, and there's also a vent tube here. I'm just going to disconnect that to get it out of the way. And there you can see some fuel coming out. All right, then you also got to be careful because there's some copper washers that seal the fuel lines. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. So make sure not to lose those. It actually is a better idea to replace them. All right, so we'll get our fuel line out of the way. Then get the bottom one oh, that's all the way out so now we just need to get the uh, clamp off Might also want to actually put a container to catch that fuel or a rag. There's a good amount coming out now. If you don't want fuel dumping all over your engine compartment, you can take off the bracket first and then disconnect the bottom line. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our filter in. Uh, this is just for demonstration, so this is the old filter, but hey. Um, so actually, if you look at it, there is actually, on this Integra, there is a tab here that goes into that opening. So you wanna position it, and I'm gonna start threading the, uh, the bottom line in there. 
So you want to make sure that uh, that gets going. There we go. That's it's a good idea to start that first because once you shove this into position, it might be awkward and you don't want to cross thread. That would definitely be bad. And so then we've got to position our bracket, which clips in and goes around. Should pretty much pop into place. He'd be in that hole. Hmm? Needs to be in the hole. Yeah, the hole. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> Alright, yeah, make sure it doesn't do that. Make sure it doesn't fall out. And so then I'm gonna get the, uh, the little 10 millimeter bolt in the back into place. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is do everything in a particular order so to avoid headaches. So then when you'll feel when that bottoms out and the brackets come together and then you just give it a little snug and then the fuel line here we want to get our seals our copper washers in place one on the top one on the bottom you can see the line drops into this position here okay so then we'll just do the reverse of what we did when we took it out get the 19 and 17 millimeter wrench check your torque specs on this i don't know exactly what they are but definitely need to get a good seal on there hopefully we can look up those specs and post them and, and oh that is 17 so we need 19 and 14 on the bottom and 14 Snug the bottom. All right. And then the last little bit, just putting on the vent tube. And then you're all done with your fuel filter.